everyone and welcome to our another episode of PRC Interview Series. Hi, I'm Angel and today I have a pleasure of introducing our latest customer, Ralph. A customer from California who recently utilized PRC's mentorship and guide services while exploring the lifestyle of Santa de Cebu, Philippines. Rob's experience with PRC has been nothing short of eye-opening and inspiring. And today, we're diving deep into his journey, the challenge he faced, and valuable insights he gained while immersing himself in the beautiful surrounding of Santa de Cebu. During our conversation, Rob will be sharing his thoughts on mentorship and guide services provided by PRC. How we were able to assist him in navigating the intricacies living in a new and unfamiliar environment and the impact it had on his overall experience. If you're someone who's considering a similar journey or if you're simply curious about the rich cultural heritage of Santa de Cebu, then this interview with Rob is a must watch. So without further ado, let's dive in and hear from Rob himself about his incredible journey with PRC. Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda and I'm here with Mr. Rob. Hello. Hi Rob, thank you for your having your time with us today. Can you please tell us a little about yourself? My name's Rob and I'm just retired from California. Been living in Dumaguete um, about three months mm -hmm. and I heard about PRC mm -hmm. so I contacted them and here I am. Now we are in Santander and Mualboal? Yes. Mualboal. Yes. <laughs> what factors made you look outside USA for a new home? Um, several factors. Um, primarily is the cost of living is really high yes. in the USA and uh, my options were I could stay in the USA and keep working till I'm I don't know, 75 years old or something like that, or I found out I can sell everything, move to the Philippines, and retire at age 57. So that was an easy decision. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Third question, why do you choose Philippines? Like a lot of people do, I, I like the fact that they speak more English, mm -hmm. um, the cost yes. of living is very low, the people are very friendly. The weather is incredible. Yeah. It's kind of like an endless summer, which I've found that I really like, mm -hmm. um, especially when I talk to my relatives uh, back home and uh, in Idaho and places like that where it's they're, shov they're shoveling snow oh. and I'm going snorkeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like kilos. <laughs> it's, yeah, it seems like I got a better deal. Yeah. But it's, it's nice just to know that the weather stays so nice for whole year. So that's good. Yeah. Fourth question, what day difficulties you ran into when you first arrived here? What difficulties? Yes. Probably the worst thing, the hardest thing when I first moved to the Philippines was the heat and the humidity. Mm -hmm. um, coming from California, the weather is very mild and dry. We do get hot temperatures in California, but the, the humidity here is a lot harder to deal with. So that took me probably two or three weeks to finally kind of get used to that. And then, what else? Um, just everything functions a little bit different in the Philippines um, in terms of, well, the traffic, the, yeah. the driving was really, I was really intimidated about the driving because I wanted to get a car. I didn't mm -hmm. feel comfortable uh, driving around you know, on a scooter. Um, I just I heard a lot a lot of other guys having accidents and getting hurt, so I wanted to get a car. But at the same time, I was really intimidated about driving with no stop signs, mm -hmm. no traffic yes, lights, yes. and just trying That's to learn how to navigate. That was that was a big challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else has been relatively easy, I would say. Maybe uh, grocery shopping is different. Some of the things that I'm used to buying, I can't get. Um, but the restaurants. I'm finding are really good. I'm, I'm having no, having good. really good food, great coffee. That was a huge priority for me. Mm. I like coffee a lot. So mm -hmm. when I found yes. out that I can go to coffee shops 
meet lots of people and have great coffee every day. That was really good. Do you like it here so far? I love it here so far. That's yeah. good. That's great. Yeah. Define it. Um, well, let's put it this way. I feel like a lot of my friends and relatives were kind of hoping that maybe I would come here and not like it so much and then decide to move home. And I'm not going home. I, I love it here. I feel very comfortable and I really like being able to go to the beach a lot and just hang out and go to coffee shops. I've, being able to meet people, it seems easier here. Yes, so because I've, it's yeah. English. Yeah, and um, everyone is really friendly. Also, I'm meeting a lot of people that I have instant uh, common ground with. So there's so many retired guys from the West and you, you sit down and start to talk to them and immediately you have so much in common because you're, you're all new to the Philippines mm -hmm. and um, it just makes it really easy to meet new friends and, and the, the Filipino people are very friendly. So you beautiful have, women yes. everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you give us a few pros and cons of living here? Pros and cons? I would say well, I just gave you a lot of pros already. The, you know, the cost of living is low. The yes. weather is great. Yeah. The beach. Mm -hmm. Lots of tropical. Uh, if you like going in the ocean, the, I would say the snorkeling and scuba diving yes, here is too. better than Hawaii. Yes. So if you've ever been to Hawaii, you, that, you probably are thinking, really? Yeah. But it is. It's really good. Today we just spent a lot of time out in yeah, the ocean. It was, nice it was great. Um, as far as cons, I would say trying to find the, the kind of foods that you're used to can be a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Things that you're used to buying in the grocery store is hard, like uh, dairy products. Mm -hmm. um, we have like a million types of cheese yes, yes. and things like that in California and fruits and vegetables that we're used to mm -hmm. here. Um, it's hard to find anything with a dairy product is challenging. Um, trying to find certain things in the grocery store. I used to barbecue a lot. I would mm -hmm. eat beef a lot and barbecue mm -hmm. in, in California. And it's really challenging finding a really good piece of meat at a good price here. It's not as fresh. Mm -hmm. A lot of it has been frozen and then shipped from New Zealand or someplace like that. So it's not as fresh. And if you do find good products they're very expensive yes, so yeah, yeah imported hard. things are available but they cost a lot more but there's actually I find that that's working out to my benefit because I kind of like eating out I don't really like cooking that much ah, okay, so yes. in the past I would save money by eating at eating. home now you like to it actually costs sometimes it costs more, more if I go to the grocery okay. store and buy the things that I like because they're more expensive. Mm -hmm. I can actually, sometimes I can eat out at a nice restaurant for the same or less. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I'm eating out a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Why did you choose our services? PRC is great. That's all I can say. Um, I've done a lot of traveling. I've been here for three months, so I've mm -hmm. been completely on my own and just trying to figure everything out. And you can do that. Um, you can go online, you can research things, and you can uh, get the information and, and just figure it out on your own. But it takes a lot of effort and it takes a lot of time. And it was so nice. I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to go back now. I've been with, with these gals for uh, three, three days. days. Yeah. Yes. I was it. I'm so spoiled now because it's just so nice to have someone basically lead you around and mm -hmm. say, we're going to, so you know, like we figure out where we want to go. Let's mm -hmm. like, we want to go to a waterfall or we want to go to a coffee shop or we want to go to a beach and go snorkeling. Yeah. And so they can say, okay, we need to go here, 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 here. And first we need to take a tricycle and then we're mm -hmm. going to stop exactly. here and get on a bus and then we're going to and like which bus well they know exactly <laughs> which bus so yeah. you don't have to think about it and they you just get on the bus and then i just hand them the money mm -hmm. and they negotiate mm -hmm. the price with the trike mm -hmm. and all these mm -hmm. things yes. so i here's my theory i feel like i'm probably saving so much money on all the trikes and the motorcycles and all that stuff mm -hmm. that their fee each day, which is not a lot, is mm -hmm. probably going to be coming down quite a bit because of the amount of money that I'm saving. Yes, um, as a foreigner, it's hard to get the 
the best deal, you, yeah. you generally get charged more. Yes, yes, they will. Know. Right. So that's been the one of the best things, and the fact that they can speak how many languages? Four languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, everywhere you go, they can easily and you know figure out exactly what's going on, and get you checked into a hotel or whatever it is. You know. Yeah. 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 Super easy. Now I don't want to. I don't really want to go back to traveling alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're fun too. So really fun and uh, friendly, easy, easy to get along with. How we help make adjusting easier? Yeah, yeah, and also I think you've saved me so much time. Um, so, and then and that's valuable because I could have come over here, for instance, to uh, from Dumaguete over okay. to San Santander, mm -hmm. and I could have done it all on my own. But I would have wasted a lot of time trying Easy to figure fun. out, yes, yes, you know, where to go and what to do. Um, they took me on how many two different waterfall tours. Two years. Yeah, and you go to a waterfall. It's not like you just go to a waterfall. You have to first it's ride on a motorcycle <laughs> over yes. the mountain, yes. and then we transferred to another motorcycle, and then went down no, no, the mountain. No, no. And, then, uh, and so, down. like all of those. Uh, things where they're negotiating and figuring out the price and telling you, you know, where we go and when we get there and when the guy comes to pick you up and they, you just let them do it all yes. for you. <laughs> and uh, that's that just makes life easy and you're not wasting time. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. time is gold. Yep. <laughs> Last question: Would you recommend others to seek help? Absolutely, I would. Um, I used to be very much more independent. I've done a lot of traveling in the United States and um, I, I've always done everything alone because it, it's generally too expensive to hire someone in the United States or to go on a guided tour. Mm -hmm. And so I've just kind of gotten used to doing everything myself. Mm -hmm. And um, over time, you can figure things out and, and do it, but it's just a lot more effort and it's just so easy to have someone help you. and it's. It's different here because in the, in the United States, I can speak the language and everything perfectly. Yeah. Here, I mean, everyone says, well, it's easier in the Philippines because so many people speak English. English. But that not everybody <laughs> speaks English. A lot of times you ask a question and they just kind of yeah, look at stare you. At you yeah. Stare at you, yeah. The guy the other day, I asked him uh, where it was some good snorkeling and he just it. said, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't, so... Not everybody speaks English, so yes. it's really nice to have somebody that... Yeah, they, they speak English, but they don't know what that means. What yeah, they, it might be limited. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. okay. So, thank you for having us today. You're welcome. And If you have any recommendation, just feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. So, I hope to see you around next time. See you again. Bye-bye. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.